some people have been like, bro, you mind doing a trailer or like a preview for stuff you'll be reviewing in case they want to buy it or try to get a review out sooner and steal all the clicks. Sure thing, dude. You can also check my Instagram where I do sort of when I get things in, I'll take pictures of them. So that's one way too. But my next review will probably be the Convoy C8 Clear with the new firmware. I have the whole thing shot. I just need to script and record the dumb dick jokes. Then the Manker MK35 Going Gear just sent me this yesterday. Look for that in two to three weeks. It's uh, very close in power to the K70 I reviewed a while back. Then I'm going to do my S-Wing Camp Axe. It's the basic Camp Axe with the stacked leather handle. You've seen it recently in one of my videos. That one will be down the line a bit. Because the entire YouTube survival community has already reviewed it. Now supposedly the Ace Beam X45. I don't have a tracking number for it yet, but Ace Beam said they would send me a review sample. FYI, it's a 16,500 lumen light. If it's not the brightest production light ever, it's close. Then there's some custom mag lights from Adventure Sport Flashlights. A 5,000 lumen and a 2,500 lumen mag light. You heard that right. The reviews are done. I'm just waiting on Matt from Adventure Sport Flashlights to give me the go ahead when he's updated his web store. Knives. The Southern Grind Spider Monkey with copper scales in S35VN. It's budget friendly for people who wipe with hundreds or ones, I don't know. Usually people with money tend to not wipe with it. That's what my mom always said. Then there's the San Remu 9103, not pictured, it's on the slow boat. And the Higanakami XL folder with brass or something. It was a $23 purchase off Amazon. I might get other things in for review too and reserve the right to put stuff off for a few weeks if I get too busy. This is about two months worth of stuff.